Hi everybody, this is Melissa Rock and I got my very last little black bag in the mail and I wanted to share it with you guys and um, this is not one of those videos where I'm going to say this is my last one but I'm going to open four more. Um, I really am done with little black bag. I, I closed all three of my accounts. Um, I can't even log on to the site. I don't know what's available. Um, I've uh, dropped little black bag from Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, anywhere that I could find that I had followed um, so that I'm not uh, in any way, shape, or form tempted because I'm done. Um, they made some changes to the site. I didn't like them. Um, and surprisingly, uh, I've only returned a couple of things in the very beginning, uh, but I did not think that with the return policy that this applied anymore. So I'm out. Uh, but I did want to share with you guys my very last little black bag. Um, this is uh, the very first item that I got. And it comes with a dust ruffle. I did already open this uh, item when it came. Um, I wasn't planning to do a video, but decided to. So it is a deluxe product. It does have a weird smell. Uh, and this is uh, the first item that I got. And this is my very first clutch. I'm such a grown-up girl. Look at this. Um, it's adorable. Um, I don't remember the name of this clutch. Um, it does not have any uh, pocket, uh, pockets on the back. Um, it does have this cute bow in the front. And um, just for... Let's back up the chair a little bit. Uh, just for... I don't know how, I don't know how you're carrying a clutch. But uh, this is how big... How do you determine the size? I don't know. It's pretty big. It's bigger than what I thought it was going to be on this site. Um, it does have a um, working zipper, which is great, and some paper and stuff inside. And it is a really, really bright purple on the inside, and there is one pocket on the side. And for a clutch, I don't know, that's a lot of room, I think. So, uh, again. I am uh, recording. You may hear my children in the background. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'm recording. We just went and got groceries, and they're putting those away, and um, we're going to go to boot camp next. So, Okay, the next thing uh, that I got was one of the Sebastian uh, hairsprays, and this one is the Shaper. I've never tried it. It was a freebie. Um, the next thing that I see, these are 1928 earrings, and these are... The uh, blue and green ones. I had uh, the pink ones in my bag, and somebody traded me this freebie and these for the pink ones. So I thought, I don't care which color they are, really. I mean, they were both beautiful. So um, that's what they look like right there. And they're just post back earrings, still studs. And let's see what they look like. Chocolate Hey, I'm recording, remember? Um, and you can see all my deer in, um, and that's the size, basically. Um, I'm not going to tie them on because I want to keep this video pretty short. Um, I'm going to boot camp tonight for the first time, so I don't want to be late. Okay, so anyway, those are the 1928 earrings right there. And the next thing was actually a return. Ugh, I don't know about this. Um, I got this because I saw it in Joe's video, and she talked about how dainty it was, um, and I don't know. It looks very tarnished, although Love Nail Tree, that's kind of their thing, right? It's supposed to be kind of old, antique looking. Uh, so anyway, this is the, um, the heart necklace by Love Nail Tree, and um, you can see that's what it looks like right there. And um, it is pretty tarnished looking, um, even the chain is, but, you know, it doesn't really bother me uh, that much. Um, but anyway, I thought it was cute. Okay, and then the last item, let me just check my packing slip. Yeah, the last item in my bag is um, another bag, and this is a Lionel bag, which is my first Lionel bag. Um, I did not get into the... Oh no, it's got a structured bottom. Oh, you don't hate those. Oh, this one smells bad too. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, this is the... Oh, it's way smaller than I imagined it was going to be. This is like purse size tote. Uh, it does have a structured bottom. Maybe that comes out. Let's just check real fast. Uh, 
because that's what's most important to me. Guess what? It doesn't come out. Ugh, I hate structured bottoms. Okay, well, too bad. Too bad, so sad. I'm done. I'm not returning, obviously. Okay, so uh, this is what it looks like right there. Um, there's the studs, which are, are gold. I think they're gold. I just know they were gold. Um, anyway, so that's the front of the bag. It has studs that go all along the uh, sides of the bag and up. And then there's the back, and it has one a zipper right there with a uh, pretty large pocket, perfect for phone or keys or any of that stuff. And it is very soft and squishy, except for that. Do you guys see that big square coming up at the bottom? That's so going to get torn out. Ugh, whatever. Um, it does have two handles, like a regular coat, a black inside, um, the regular pockets and things like that. It's pretty deep. Uh, and um, it has an all right drop. Um, it's still pretty close to the armpit, but you know, what are you gonna do? Um, and that's what it looks like. See, this is why I don't like structured bags because look at that sticking out from the side. I just, I wish it would just be squishy all over, but see that? I don't know. That sucks. Don't say sucks. I'm trying to tell my kids that. Um, so, yeah, that's what I got. I got the Lionel tote. Um, the deluxe uh, clutch, which I can't remember the name of, the 1928 earrings, Sebastian um, Shaper hairspray, and the heart necklace. Um, yeah, and that's it. I'm out. Um, I am still a part of uh, a couple of the Facebook groups. I'll probably stay that way too because you guys are posting some really good deals and I, I do want to join in on that. And I do enjoy the banter. I do enjoy... Um, listening to, um, you girls, I'm not going to say what I was going to say, but I do enjoy it. So, uh, I probably am going to just listen in, uh, maybe be like a little, uh, ninja. I'm just watching from the sidelines every once in a while, you know, one comment or two. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm out. Um, little black bag, you have broke my heart. Um, I do not care for your return policies. I do not care for the way that you're treating customers. I do not care for the way that you are portraying products on the site. Um, I, I do not think that moving your photos being done from one side of the country to the other is, is going to make a difference. I think that you should be able to go to your photographer and say, listen, we need real life photos. We need photos that are more true to what they actually are. Um, and uh, I'm out. I'm done. I cancel my accounts. I'm out. You have lost me. So um, I do hope that you guys will take part in the challenge that was posted um, on some of the Facebook groups. Um, it, it was a $50 challenge. So just go out anywhere. Go to TJ Maxx, go to Marshalls, go to Ross, go to online, do online shopping or do your hometown shopping and just buy uh, $54 worth of stuff and see if you can get uh, a handbag and two stylist picks um, and then post pictures on Facebook because um, I think that would be a really good way to take your money from um, where you don't want to spend it anymore and um, give it to somebody who will appreciate it. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great night. Um, I'm going to dash off, try to get ready for boot camp, and uh, I'll see you guys. Bye. This is Nerdy.